Family Ties, weeknights at 6.30 on Fox Channel 5, New York. Well, Eileen Heckard is an Academy Award winner of film star, a TV star, a stage star, and this Friday evening you'll be able to see her at the Westport Country Playhouse in a very special benefit for AIDS. The name of the production is Healing Laughter, and the best part of all, it's directed by her son, Luke Yankee, who we'll meet in just a moment. Eileen, it's so nice to have you here. Thank you. How did this all come about, Healing Laughter? Oh, Luke did it. Uh, it was his idea? Yes. He had worked with an AIDS group, a uh, support group in New York. And he said to me, I, I want to do this. And I said, wonderful. And you know, it's really surprising because uh, Connecticut has done nothing about AIDS. I mean, as far as any big benefits are concerned. That's right. So this is the first. And he said, well, I, I need you to start off my list to get all my other <laughs> names. It's right. interesting. You say Connecticut, not many places have, not many people have done much about AIDS. Why pick a New York project for this? What do you mean, by, Tom, by a New York project? This is a Manhattan-based project that the well, money could uh, be going to. Yes. Uh, well, um, actually, because he works with this particular mm -hmm. uh, one and knows how they work and what, what they're about. But uh, I don't hear people in this area even speaking up and saying, we have a community project here. I mean, people get behind it. So uh, mm -hmm. well, as a state, I just don't think, certainly this area, we haven't done very much about it. Now, who else is involved in the project? Because you have a number of, of people from lots of di disciplines in the theater. Yes, Mason Adams, and David Groh, and June Havoc, and Nancy Marchand, uh, 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 Jeff Marcus, who did one of the one actors we did on the West Coast uh, together, called Meals on Wheels. Uh, so he's coming from New York to do it. Who did I forget? Lee Richardson. Uh, Lee Richardson. I think we should get Luke yes. up here, too. Come on, Luke. Join us, Luke. The voice from the, the yeah, wings. Yeah, he's really, the one who knows everything. We can't resist that one. Have a seat. Make Excuse yourself comfortable me. there. Thank yeah. you. I just wanted to uh, correct one thing that you said. The benefit will be held at the Darien Town Hall, not at the Westport Country uh -huh, Playhouse. Aha, the Darien Town Hall. Right, okay, next thank uh, you, Friday have. evening. Send people in the right direction. Right. That's for sure. What Absolutely. was the reaction when, obviously, you asked your mom first, but right. when you approached these other people who are all very busy and have enormously successful careers, what did they say? Well, um, uh, when they heard about that it was a benefit for AIDS, they were very impressed, and most people were immediately interested. And they all said, oh, well, sure, but send me the script. And the one play in particular in which most of the stars will be participating is a very funny one act called The Age of Pi, uh, which starts out as a group therapy session <laughs> and then has uh, a rather humorous conclusion, which I will save. Uh, and when they read the script, they said, yes, absolutely. And since it is a benefit for AIDS, they were uh, all very excited very to be a part of it. it. Yes. These are four one-act shows. Yes. Who chose the yes. shows? I chose all of the plays. And I had three pieces for quite some time. And then I spoke to Christopher Durant who gave me permission to use uh, an original piece of his. Oh, And marvelous. I was very thrilled by that. And Chris has done a great deal for AIDS benefits in New York and um, gave me permission to use this new piece. That's very exciting. Yes. You know, I think in the beginning when AIDS really started to come to the forefront, many people were afraid to become mm -hmm. associated with it mm -hmm. and afraid to, it, even in a benefit fashion, to say, yeah. well, I don't want my name hooked right. up with this. Obviously, this has changed. Well, one of the things that's so wonderful about this group in particular, uh, it's an organization called HEAL, which stands for Health Education AIDS Liaison. And they sponsor support groups for people who have lost loved ones, um, alternative holistic healing approaches to educate people to the fact that just because one is diagnosed as having AIDS, that isn't necessarily a death sentence. And that life does go on right, and that one does continue living. A note of hope. Yes. The theater community definitely. and the arts have lost a number of people to AIDS yes, uh, and absolutely. some notables recently. Do you think this has increased the con concern amongst that community and their willingness to come forward and participate? Yes. Yes, I certainly do. And uh, as you were saying earlier, there hasn't been a great deal done in this area. There have been, in New York, every time you turn around, there's another benefit. But, uh, and the reason that we are also supporting a New York organization out here is that in the hopes that groups of this sort will also begin mm -hmm. in this area and in other parts of the country. Really, maybe a stimulant to other groups. Exactly. Okay, That's now, what Luke, what's it like to direct your mom? <laughs> well, it's quite wonderful. <laughs> I mean, the wonderful thing for me about having this very gifted group of actors is that uh, it makes my job that much easier when I'm directing college students or on a community theater level or even young professionals. Uh, 
there's a lot of hard work for me to do. But in a case like this, I just say, you move there, you move there, and I sit back and let them do it. <laughs> the, but Eileen, when you're working with Luke, do you find yourself saying, hmm, I might have done that a little differently? <laughs> no, no, not at all. Actually, the, the suggestions he has had have all been valid and been good, and I can always respond to a good director. If he were not a good director, I can give a very bad time. But uh, and that has nothing to do with being my child, but I must say, one day I heard him on the telephone, which cracked me up, and he said, can you imagine I'm going to be directing the diva? <laughs> <laughs> I must say, that, well, well, we have a, a great deal of professional respect for one another. There is a big difference between, hey, mom, can I borrow the car keys, and Miss Heckert cross stage left. You know? <laughs> Those are two different ladies <laughs> and two different men. <laughs> is it difficult to look at him, though, and see him as the director only and not as your son? No, it hasn't been. Uh, I must say that as he started his work, it's very easy for me to, to criticize, I mean, in the things that I have, uh, I have seen, but he certainly conducted himself uh, uh, well. And I do think that, you know, you respond to a challenge, too. He has all these good people. Yes. And uh, I think mm -hmm. that makes a big difference. You know, you are a young director. Certainly you yes. have experience. But I'm sure as a young director or as a young playwright or whatever, exactly. working with people who have the amount of experience and talent it must be a, uh, you swallow a couple of times <laughs> yes indeed indeed mm -hmm. uh, earlier this year I was working out in Los Angeles with Nancy Marchand who's also going to be a part of this evening and, and beautiful uh, who else yes is it? yes Gary it was Nye. a, a was production pretty... of light up the sky out in Los Angeles and I uh, was assistant director to Ellis Rabb and uh, Ellis had to leave almost immediately after the show opened so I was kept on to maintain the show and Nancy uh, is such a wonderful talent, Nancy Marchand. But there were moments at first when I was rather intimidated. And there was one night early on when I had to give her a note. And the stage manager walked by and saw me standing there, poised outside of her dressing room door, getting up the nerve. <laughs> and she walked by, a very, very salty lady, and said, oh, you're bigger than she is. Go ahead. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I gave Nancy the note. Don't and we had there. Exactly. Do you find there's a lot of testing, though, that goes on? To a degree. Um, as Mom was saying, uh, if they believe that if you come across as knowing what you're about and with a great deal of conviction, they will trust you, you know, because all good actors, no matter how established they are, need an outside eye. Well, something I important. think is most interesting about this is your rehearsal time. I mean, you have yes. not been rehearsing this evening for months and months and months. Tell us what this process has been. Well, when you have uh, this many well-established people and a very short amount of time, um, you know, so many people have other commitments. With the Labor Day holiday, it was also difficult. And uh, there were a number of people who I had lined up. And since it was a benefit, they then got other jobs. Uh, and it was very difficult. Uh, even though they were supportive of the project, you know, if a paying job comes along, well, it is a benefit, and yeah. we're taking off. So um, several of the pieces, since they are all different one acts, I've been rehearsing three of the pieces, but the one, The Age of Pi, the evening's finale in which all of the stars are performing, we begin rehearsing that one this evening, and we have three rehearsals, so it's going to be tight. Oh, it would be so wonderful to be at those three rehearsals, though. I can just imagine the energy. <laughs> That's for sure. Have most of the people involved in these um, four one acts worked together before, Eileen? Not as a unit, no. We've all worked with the, you know, I've worked projects. with uh, Nancy Marchand and, and uh, yes, and Lee, but uh, never uh, in a group like this. Well, it sounds like a very special evening. How can we get tickets? Uh, you can get tickets by calling the Darien Arts Council. And I don't know that number offhand, uh, but it's the Darien Town Hall. And uh, it's this Friday evening at 8 p.m. And it's called Healing Laughter. And it's going to be a very funny evening. Well, it certainly sounds it. Thank you so much for being with Thank us. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment. Stay with us.